What is up guys and gals, welcome to one how to smartphones tutorial videos. In this video I'll be showing you guys how to do a hard reset on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus series and how to do a factory reset and the difference between the two on the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus as well. So if you guys would like to skip, get straight to the point, go ahead and hit the hyperlinks in the description below. How's it going viewers? Thank you guys for watching this video. In this video I'll be showing you guys how to do a hard reset on an iPhone 7 Plus. The iPhone 7 and 7 Plus work similar, it's the same exact way. Um, if you are doing this to clear your phone or reset it to factory settings um, and you have access to your phone to get inside the phone and go through settings and reset it, I strongly recommend doing a factory reset. It is a lot easier, uh, less problems that way. Uh, the hard reset is recommended for uh, doing resets if a phone has uh, is disabled or if it's got a passcode on it that you have forgotten. So before we get started, I would like to just kind of recommend getting the latest uh, version of iTunes. That'll kind of help uh, take away any kind of problems, any errors that might pop up later on. So if you're trying to do this and you're getting error messages, try upload uh, updating your iTunes. Make sure you have the latest version of iTunes and uh, some errors also pop up because you have a cable that is not working correctly so uh, changing that out might help solve some of the problems as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off with uh, showing you guys that the iPhone is disabled. This this one is disabled. Uh, Ask to connect to iTunes so if you're doing the uh, reset it is slightly different here on the new phones because the home button it used to be the power in the home button the home button is no longer a button it is a sensor so it does not work that way um, so we're going to want to start off by powering off the device and right here we can go ahead and slide to power off uh, next thing you're going to want to have is have a computer or a laptop that has iTunes on it and access to the internet it doesn't matter what brand or if it's a laptop or a computer, as long as you have iTunes with internet. Um, and the next thing we're going to want to do is hook up our phone to that uh, computer or laptop with your charging cable. And then once you have all that set, what we're going to want to do is first hit the power button, hold it for three seconds, and then simultaneously click the volume down button. Uh, once we have that going after 10 seconds, we will release the power button and continue holding the volume down button until an error pops up here on our iTunes screen. So what I'm going to go ahead and start this off, power button, 3, 2, 1, add the volume down button, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, release the power button, continue holding the volume down button, and we're going to be waiting for an error to pop up right there, and once it pops up, you can then release it and uh, remove your hands from the device. And we're going to be moving over to the iTunes screen. It says iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore this iPhone before it can be used with iTunes. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And it gives us iPhones in recovery mode. If you're experiencing problems with your iPhone, you can restore it. It's settings, uh, restored settings, original settings by uh, clicking the restore iPhone. So we're going to go ahead and select restore iPhone. It's just, are you sure you want to uh, erase your phone? Everything will be deleted. Um, yes, we're going to go ahead, restore and update. It talks about the uh, uh, iPhone software update 10.2.1. Select next, terms and agreement. We're going to just go ahead and agree. And as you can see right over here, it is starting to download stuff for the iPhone. Right up there, it has the little uh, clock that's spinning under the download uh, symbol. So as it's downloading this information, I would just like to take a second and let you guys know that um, the time that it takes to update and restore everything, uh, there's a lot of variables that play into it. Uh, your version of iTunes, it might be updating your iTunes, uh, might, and then if the phone was an older uh, iOS or operating system, it'll be updating that as well, so that takes more time. If you have slower internet connection, that will add also add time to it to make it uh, the process longer. Um, in this case, I'm not sure what iOS is on this device. Um, I just go ahead and crop this just to make sure you guys are getting everything you guys need to see and all the download, upload stuff uh, is cut to a minimum. So, so here it is, it is still uploading. Um, some of them, some of the iTunes will have little bars showing you the progress, seeing how far it is. Uh, mine on this iTunes version, all you gotta do is click on it here 
and it shows you that downloads uh, iPhone software update uh, 2.33 out of 2.4 gigabytes about three minutes remaining so um, that is just a little bit to show you how uh, how fast it takes or how long it's gonna take so that way you could plug it in let it update while you go do something else and at this time, I just also like to take a second and say that if you found a phone or you stole a phone and you're trying to do the hard reset because the previous owner had his information in there, um, the phone will be activation locked. Um, I'll show you what that will look like farther on in the video. Uh, towards the end, you'll be able to see it and I'll kind of explain it to show you that uh, you need the old Apple ID password to get in. So this will not remove the Apple ID that is on the phone, that stays on the phone. Uh, that's a anti-theft security feature put in by Apple. Um, so there's no way, I haven't found a way to safely bypass it. There are other people that claim they have. Um, I've tried several different methods. I have not found anything. The only thing, there's little jailbreak type of things that only let you use the phone partially. So if, you, if you're buying a phone off eBay, make sure the IMEI is clean. Uh, make sure that everything is cleared off and there are no uh, iTunes accounts or Apple ID accounts attached to that phone. Make sure everything is cleared. Uh, tell the owner to wipe that and get it completely out of there and so here we are last few seconds of the uploads uh, processing the file it's completed everything so it looks like we are done with the update and now it is extracting software off the iPhone as you guys can see the toolbar has now move, now we are up here, it's shown that we are extracting software. So at this point it's removing everything off of your device, um, any pictures, contacts, any kind of data will be wiped off. Uh, everything, um, excluding the carrier, this will not unlock the carrier, won't remove it. So if you're on with Verizon, you can't take it over to AT&T unless the phone is factory unlocked to start with. Um, so now it's moving on to preparing iPhone for restore. Waiting for iPhone. And now it's preparing iPhone for restore. I, the Apple logo has appeared on the iPhone. And at this point we are seeing the power bar over here kind of fill up on the phone. Um, as long as it's verifying, restoring. Uh, firmware, software, all that kind of stuff. It's getting everything back up to date, uh, clear, cl clearing all the old stuff off the phone and uploading the newest iOS uh, up onto the device and getting it to that factory uh, mode. So there we have it. Everything just kind of flashed. Everything seemed to have uploaded all the way. Uh, you guys can see that there is nothing going on with the device here itself. Um, and now the device is starting up. So at this point, I will keep it connected and we'll just keep an eye here on the device. We're gonna go ahead and let this load up, get it go to get it to go all the way. It loaded up all the way and it has turned on. And here we are, we are at the activation lock screen. So here's how this works. If this phone is lost or stolen, it is asking for this iPhone is linked to an Apple ID, enter the Apple ID and password that were used to set up this phone. So whatever is signed in on the phone at the time, you will need to enter it in. Uh, it gives you what the letter starts with and at hotmail.com so if this was your phone you would know what what it is what the email that you used um, to activate the phone so you'd be able to type that in and add the password if you forgot your password you can click it reset it there are multiple ways to reset it or restore it um, get it to get it to factory settings so at this point everything is wiped off the phone but it is not set up that is still locked and you're not able to activate this phone unless the activation lock is removed uh, you might say, well, I'm just going to go ahead into the phone and start the phone up. I'm going to go ahead and start up for you guys. I'm going to go with English, United States. It's going to ask you if you want to use a Wi-Fi network. I'm just going to go ahead and use the Wi-Fi network that I have here. I'm going to go ahead and 
type in my password. So there we go, I got my password typed in. I'm just gonna go ahead, hit join. And this is just part of the, I guess, setup process or the startup process for the iPhone. Um, so it's saying it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. If you don't have a SIM card in there, it will not let you activate it. And it comes right back here to the activation lock screen. So it's saying, hey, you know, on the iTunes computer, the iPhone and the iTunes uh, sync up. They're saying that this phone has an i an iCloud account or iTunes signed in on it and go ahead and remove it. So if it is yours, you can go ahead, type your information in and it will reset. It will take it down to the home screen, home settings. If it's not your phone, if you stole it, found it, this is what you get. The phone turns into a paperweight. It's not really used, not re very useful for anything else. So that is how you do the uh, hard reset on an iPhone 7. It's the same way for the iPhone 7 Plus. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to do a factory reset on an iPhone 7. And for those of you that are not quite sure what a factory reset is, is it clears the phone of all data, deletes all pictures, contacts, videos, any kind of data that is on the phone will be wiped clean. It will be put back to its factory or original settings as if you were just gotten a new phone. So there are two big reasons why I use the factory reset option. The first one is if you're getting rid of your phone and you wanna delete everything off the phone, you go ahead and do this and it will clear the phone. And the second reason is if you're having a minor malfunction, something is wrong with the phone, it's not working quite right, I back my phone up just to save all my information, all my data, and then I do the factory reset to clear any kind of software bugs or glitches that are currently on the phone. And then I reset with my old information, back it back up to the phone, and I'm able to use it like that. As far as the factory reset is if your phone is unlocked, uh, all we're going to want to do is back up the information. If you are going to be saving your phones, uh, if you're having a glitch, something's not working right, go ahead, back up all your information before doing this, like I had done previously. Back everything up, and then we will do a hard reset. If you're going to sell your phone, you don't really have to back it up unless you're going to be getting another uh, iPhone device that you can just transfer all your information there. So what we're going to go ahead and do is start off by going into settings. And from settings, go to general. Once you are here in general, go ahead and scroll down till you get to the bottom. Once you're at the bottom, go ahead and select reset. Once we are here, there's reset all settings, re erase all content and settings, reset network settings, reset keyboard dictionary, reset home screen layout, and reset the location and privacy. The one we want is erase all content and settings. We can go ahead and select that. And it says this will delete all media and data and reset all settings. So we're just gonna go ahead, hit erase iPhone. Are you sure you wanna continue? All media, data, and settings will be erased. This cannot be undone. So if you hit the erase and continue, it will delete and remove everything. So if you haven't gotten it backed up, you will lose uh, all the stuff that's not backed up. So go ahead, erase iPhone, and it's starting to erase. So this factory reset will not unlock any carrier. So if your phone was with AT&T previously or with Verizon, it will stay that way. This is not a way to change your carrier. This will not unlock the phone. All it does is clears it, puts it back to factory settings. And here it's just pretty much deleting all information off the phone and it's going to boot it, start booting it back up with all the new information on there. So now it's booting up all the information with a new clean iPhone. Back to the factory original settings, it's going to start you off back on the hello screen. So there we are, we are back on the hello screen. It's gonna want us to start it up and I'm just gonna go ahead and set this up as a new iPhone as if I were to sell it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select English back to the United States. And I'm gonna go ahead and hook up to the internet that I have. So now that I have my password typed in, I'm gonna go ahead and hit join. It's gonna link up to my internet and I should be able to activate my phone. It may take a few minutes to activate your phone. And if you're doing this and you don't have a SIM card in, it will not uh, start up the phone. You won't be able to get it to the home screen without a SIM card, so you'll need to put one in. And then here we are at the location services, disable location services. And at this point, if you're going to sell it, I just set everything up as zero. So set up touch ID later, continue, just that way it has none of your information. Passcode options, do not add passcode. Are you sure you don't want a passcode? Yes, and I hit continue. Apps and data, and at this point, I'm gonna be setting up as a new iPhone, that way I could sell it and none of my information is on there. If you are 
gonna be backing it up you can back uh, restore it from itunes restore it from icloud i'm just gonna go ahead and do set up as new i uh new iphone and at this point you don't want your information in if you're gonna sell it so i'm just gonna go ahead and set it up later in settings and don't use for the pop-up that appears there terms and conditions i'm gonna go ahead and hit agree use siri don't use siri uh, don't send any diagnostic issues customize later in settings for the home button Zoom, you have to choose one of the views. So I'm just going to go ahead, do zoomed and continue. Welcome to iPhone, get started. And here just will pretty much back, uh, come on. And as you guys can see here, I got a phone that just pretty much factory settings, nothing on there, none of my information is in here. Uh, it is now, I can give it away, I can sell it. It's cleared, no issues. So if somebody were to buy it, um, when I go to buy used phones, I like to see them here at this screen. That way I could check the IMEI and I know that there are no um, iCloud locks or activation locks, anything that will be associated with it later. So that is how you do a factory reset on an iPhone 7. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you know somebody that might be struggling with this issue, you can go ahead and share this with them. Let them know there is a solution for their problem. Uh, if you guys would like to see more tutorials like this, you guys can go ahead and subscribe to my page. I also have an iPhone 7 playlist with different tutorials that I have done. You guys can check that out as well. So that's all I got for you guys on this one. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.